Welcome back to my channel dolls. This is DeAndrea Renee and today we are here to do another hair review. Yes girl, another hair review. Okay you guys, so I was sent this unit, this pre-made lace front unit, full lace wig from ElvaHairWigs.com. Now y'all, I am loving this wig so I gotta tell y'all all the specs but before I do make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed make sure you turn on that bell notification so you can know when I do upload and girl are you following me on Instagram if you are not make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram right now I will wait while you do it just go ahead girl make sure you do it Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel. So all about this unit, this is a 130 density full lace wig. Now this is a Brazilian body wave type of texture. This is in the inches 20. So um, really good density, you guys. I can say that I have not had to pluck this unit and pretty good on the fullness. It was not too full but you do get a lot of hair but it's not too much i just kind of had to create my own baby hairs which i kind of did really quick but they they look pretty decent to be pretty quick though um but i didn't really have to pluck this unit so that was good um the density is not too full on it so 130 density was just fine for me now this wig is not really really thick um, but it's not thin at all. So in my opinion, it's a really good amount of hair. If you don't want really, really full artificial looking hair, then this is definitely a great unit. So uh, I do kind of have it just down right now in its natural state. I have not manipulated the curl or anything. The only thing I did change was the color. So of course it did come in a 1B type of color and I did color this hair with L'Oreal highlights for dark roots only in the color magenta if you guys are interested in how I color my units or what I used for this wig. I will be uploading a video for that. I will link that down below. I do already have one so I'll just link that one for you guys just in case you're interested in knowing what I used. I pretty much did the same exact thing for this one. So um so far so good you guys i just installed this unit it is a full lace wig so you can part this wig anywhere and it will appear to be scalp so that's definitely great i love the fact that this is a pre-made unit so i do not have to construct this wig y'all i love pre-made units i am loving and not having to to make my own units because a girl begin lazy sometimes and she just don't feel like doing it so this is definitely a great option if you don't know how to make wigs or if you're just not wanting to make your own then this is definitely great that they already come made. So this wig does come with four combs. I am using one of the combs in the back and it does come with straps to tighten the wig. So I will say that that is definitely great because I did secure the front of my wig with my Got To Be Glue gel, but I did not secure the back of my wig. So of course this appears to be a full 360 lace frontal wig since it is a full lace wig. You will be able to put it into a ponytail. So those straps definitely come in handy when trying to do that because it definitely keeps those edges down. So um, I would definitely say that the most natural way to make this look seamless is definitely to glue the back of the wig down as well. But me, I am not wanting to do that. So I am just going to use those straps. So um, this is the hair all down. You can see the little light wave in the hair. So here's the hair to the front. So really nice fullness. It's not really extremely full, but it's a good fullness. It doesn't look thin. And here's the back. So again, you guys, this is the 20 inch um wig and i did not bleach this unit at all i used the l'oreal color 
for dark hair so i was pleased to not have to bleach this hair i will say for this wig you would need to bleach the knots i did not bleach my knots i just used foundation and um that will work fine but um it's best to bleach the knots because i do kind of see a few uh spots still um but i'm not really planning on wearing this wig for long so i'm kind of okay with that um i can i can go through and camouflage it a little better with my foundation but um you will need to bleach the knots or use the foundation method on this wig and i will say it was a little uh testing to camouflage the lace a little bit you definitely need that foundation to camouflage the lace but when i used my foundation it definitely seemed a lot more seamless so i'm gonna give you guys a look up close to what my edge hairline looks like all right so here is my hairline now I, again i have not plucked this unit this is how it came You can see the knots I was telling you about, but you can go in and add your foundation. And camouflage. So as you guys can see, it's really easy to camouflage those knots in the lace as long as you use that foundation. So um, if you did not, you know, want to bleach your knots, you definitely don't have to. So with this unit, you can pull this up into a ponytail um, and it can be a full ponytail. So I'm just going to show you guys what that looks like. So if you guys are interested in this wig, I will leave the company's information down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one.